Hello, so I'm going to be talking about Rise of Kingdoms. Um, okay, so Germany is okay. It's not, I mean, I like, I think the 5% training speed actually really, really helps and stuff. And the AP is good. But there's some downsides to that civilization. Okay, so um, the T4 Cavalry have the lowest attack for the special unit. Now here, that is a huge problem because War Frenzy, um, I think the 3%, is it 3%, increases the standard base stat, and all the other bonuses do too. So if it increases the standard base stat, um, and it's 187, instead of like 192 or 197 or whatever, I don't think the number goes as high, like the, like the you know, the green number. That increases when you check your cavalry. Oh, sorry. It doesn't go as high. Um, I don't know if it's worth, like, the... I think it's worth it, though, for the bonuses, though. I just don't think the cavalry, like, combat-wise, it might not be as good when you're using, like, a specific unit, like, cavalry. But... I don't know if that really matters because of the other fleet civilization. I mean, the other fleet, sorry. The other fleet troops are standard anyway, so I don't know. Um, um, I mean, I, I think, honestly, for special units, for some reason, I feel like I would pick Britain, but then Britain's fur bonus kind of stinks. Because, I don't know. I could explain why Britain would be better for special units, there's their special units than Germany. It's because they have 202 attack. That is so good. Because, <coughs> because of, um, because the bonuses, and I think the base stat, like, determines how high your attack goes. Higher. So, yeah. Like I meant, previously mentioned. That's one reason I would, I picked Spain, is because that 197, that 10 extra points, um, really makes a difference on Minamoto. Um, I know I rather would have the five percent training. Maybe I would switch to Germany once I'm like more leveled when I get unlock T five. But right now, I'm, I think Spain is a really good civilization. There's a couple reasons I pick Spain. Number one, the XP. Um, the XP bonus is phenomenal. Um, if you think about it. A 10k gem civilization change um, is 250 10k tomes of knowledge. Now, if you pick Spain, you basically, it's basically worth, it basically saves you to using tomes of knowledge, I guess. So that's one reason you would rather pick Spain. I think Germany could save tome of knowledge as well. However, if you are like not playing the game much, or if you want to take a major break, play something else. And I think Spain is just really good. Um, but the, here's the thing. I think once you get to level 60, then on most of your commanders are the ones you use the most. And I guess it's time to switch to Germany or Ottoman. I think I, I would rather do Ottoman. The issue is that 5% training seems a little bit better for me personally. Um... And, I mean, I would, the reason I would pick Odin is the march speed. Um, and, um, I think just for the march speed and the skill damage. But I'm wondering if I would rather do the infantry route and pick Rome. But, uh, I don't know, I think, I'd rather just pick Germany. Even though the T3, a T4 and T5 special unit aren't the best. I think they could be good for defense and health, though. But their attack is really lacking, and I think most of your skills that cavalry have are, like, attack, and I don't know. It's weird. But, I mean, the only one that has defense skills for a commander is Saladin. And, yeah, he has attack and defense, so I think if you're using Saladin, Germany is better. But if you're using Minamoto, Kakao, then Spain, but uh, it's weird. Oh, man. I really wish it did have 5% Spain. If it had 5% training speed instead of that RSS. Actually, no, the production's really good, too. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I, got, I didn't get to 25. 
I mean, I'm 25 City Hall. I didn't, didn't upgrade the RSS things yet. But once I do that, I'm going to see if it's better or worse. I think it could be better. I don't know. I think or maybe Arabia could be better than Spain. But I'm not sure because I think Spain could be producing more RSS than the healing cost that you do from barbarians with Arabia. But then Arabia doesn't have doesn't give you extra XP. So like you'd be wasting more time killing barbs or guardians because you get less XP. So yeah. I don't I mean, maybe it would actually since I you do have that damage, it might help you um heal less troops because then less are injured. But I guess that's what Arabia does. Though the third bonus I wouldn't really be the rally leader, so um also something else about Arabia, I think their highest base stat is health, actually. Did you know that? Their highest base stat is health. It's 197 health. Now I think that's an issue because um later in the game I think the base stat you would rather have a higher base stat of 197 with attack, like Spain. For combat wise. Like um because I think I mean Arabia does have five percent more attack with one not by how many times it by 192 attack i just don't know in, in the late game if that goes higher than spain or lower like someone should probably confirm that with by just switching sieves because i'm not sure um yeah just like wedge and ronnie or chisco just like someone confirm if um spain has higher attack if you just add the base stat with the green number when compared to Arabia's cavalry, because I want to, I wonder if Spain, the Spain attack could be higher, because it's hot, like the base stats higher, so the extra percents, the extra number, the green number might go higher. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think I'm looking more into this, like than I'm supposed to. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I probably might switch to Germany because people call it the pleb civilization. It is probably pretty good because that 5% training. And I ran out of speed ups just now, so I ran out of speed ups with Spain. Dang. <laughs>